All right, welcome back. It's been a week. I'm sorry for last week. Just got busy. No Christmas, all that. It's coming up. Uh, for a little while now, it's going to be sporadic while I record. Um, but after the first week of January, it should be back on schedule like normal. I'm going to try to do 10 videos this week. I'm not making promises because I think it's going to get hectic again. But I'm going to try to do two a day. I feel like I owe you for last week. Um, we'll see how this works. So we left off getting Patrick. Patrick can grab stuff. And he can throw stuff. While um, he's holding something, he can't jump. Good to know. Oh, I didn't see him. Dang it. This is a bus stop. You may switch between playing SpongeBob and Patrick here. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. We're going to continue with that for this area. Alright. Patrick can throw fruit up steps, then climb the steps, pick up the fruit, and throw it again. But he better hurry before it wilts. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Woo! Up so. we go! You saw it flashing white. That means it's about to go away. This is a special T Patrick teeter-totter that only Patrick can use. Have Patrick pick up th uh, throw fruits down on the pink starfish and then throw the fruit at the target side. Patrick will be flung across to the other side of the lake. This is kind of cool. Alright. I see you. Give me that. This is a Thunder Tiki, which Patrick, when Patrick touches it, will begin to storm, and for a few seconds, will go boom. Was that all? I feel like there was more. I didn't mean to do that. No. Don't be near it when it goes boom. Good to know. That's much better. Ouch! Patrick can pick up a Thunder Tiki and throw it just like other Tikis, but he had he had better throw it fast. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's not going to respawn. Good. Got it. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! Excuse me, sir. The rock is talking to me. Oh, mighty rock! I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to... I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. I feel that one. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. I mean, what an oh, offer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Alright, so we're back. It was telling me to do something I'd already done. 
it was telling me to go use that icy um, flour to turn the water into ice and skate and get that missing sock but I already did that so I'm a little ahead of them all right okay so I'm assuming it, 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 there's a button let's see what it say if you jump in the air and press B Patrick will slam down to the ground damaging Tiki's or pressing buttons below him hey <laughs> Cannonball! <laughs> well, let me get rid of that mouse. Okay, I think this area gets a little crazy. Ooh, scary dark cave. Yep. Oh. How many of these do I have to carry? All of them that I tell you to. Present in every one! Okay. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Remember, Patrick can throw a fruit, then pick it up and throw it again before it wilts. Yeah, we already know that. All right. Open sesame. That looks really painful. Well, that wasn't supposed to do that. Really, finally get it there, and I get electrocuted. This player, this place is not so nice. Uh, I probably threw that a little too early. Oh no, Patrick didn't make it. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. I mean, you shouldn't be wearing his underwear, but never mind. Ah! All right, this isn't that hard. Fine, I got my checkpoint. All right. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Come on, spikes. Come on, there you go. Come on, spikes. Super monster combo, I'll take it. 
Alright, now we got a new sign. The weight of the throw fruit will also activate pressure plates. But they won't last forever, remember that. Patrick can also throw up, throw, also jump on throw fruit to get higher places. He may stack throw fruit as well by throwing a throw fruit on top of another throw fruit. It's a lot of throw fruits. This will allow Patrick to get even to even higher places. All right. Have you been lonely out there all got it, day. No. You sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Can you... Thank you. That was Lost Sock number nine. Alright. Okay. So this one can be a little harder. You want to throw it there. One. And boom. All right, we got a box. Oh, crap. You want to jump? Don't hit these. Ouch. That's much better. So All shiny. Right. Okay. Alright, we already know what a freezy fruit is. Okay. You see it back there, right? Well, that sucked. That did not work. Quit hitting the rock. Oh, goody, another one. And back there is a purple shiny object. I'm not getting it because you can see it. You just skate over there and grab it. You know what? If Patrick belly flops near robots, he can damage or stun them. Small robots will be simply defeated by Patrick's belly flop. Larger robots will be stunned for a short period of time. All right. Ooh, again! Again! All right, what's this one say? Patrick may also use throw fruit to defeat robots. <laughs> Catch a pumpkin. All right. Did I hit you? I thought I hit you. All right, this part is not fun. Patrick may even pick up robots he has stunned and throw them into other robots. Oh! Here's a whistle. Alright, so I gotta knock out one of these robots. Oh. Oof. Well, hey, my back feels better. Ouch. Okay. I actually hated this part. Hey, what just happened? Okay, right, I got it. I'm actually a little mad that I actually had it, but I, I didn't complete the jump or the uh, throw. Ouch. That's much better. Well, they weren't supposed to both blow up. Ooh. Come on. Go, 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 go. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Ouch! Ouch! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Alright, I got the spatula number five. The 
It's actually harder than it looks because of the timing. Wow, we're going to the Jellyfish Lakes now. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Alright, we're gonna get a new bad guy here. I think they're called the Tartar Robots. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, they're no fun. Wait as a whistle. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Cause I can. You don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Alright. That's much better. Oh, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. Oh, I hate this part. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. All right, let's go get it. You gotta throw these robots. Clean as a whistle. Ouch. So bright. So shiny. Woo! Up we go! <laughs> alright, alright, we're good, we're good. We got three more. All right, we got it. That wasn't too. That wasn't too bad. All right, now we just gotta That's go get. That's much it. better. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! All right. That's that's it. We're gonna go to the bus station over here, and we're gonna switch over back over to SpongeBob. And I will see you next video. Adios, amigos.